Hello everybody, my name is Jonathan and today I'm gonna show you a very uh, fast review about Adobe Illustrator that is recently released on iPad. We're gonna take a look at the tools, you know, the paint tool, the pencil, how you guys can manage some projects using this new software. So let's get started right now. So guys, if you are very new here, I'm Jonathan. This channel here is, is for illustrators, designers, and artists. I do graph illustrations. So make sure to hit the subscribe button already to uh, to learn more about illustrations. So let's suppose that is your first time using the Adobe Illustrator on iPad and you guys will need to sign up in order to have the access. So if you don't have the Creative Cloud, you need to pay monthly in order to choose this app. So this is the first screen that you guys will see. I have here uh, the option at least to change this to dark because I don't like to have the white screen, okay? This bothers my eyes when I'm drawing a lot. And here in this uh, icon, you guys can change this already to dark. And there you go, I have this uh, you know, screen that is better for my eyes. And right now you guys can create a custom size in order to see uh, the canvas so you can decide here the screen that you want you can change uh, the size is very standard for all the software that you use and I click here I'm gonna create this web 1920 I have here the toolbar uh, also I have like here the menus that I can uh, layers the properties the grid okay as you guys can enable here if you want and all these functionalities like a path compound. So the first thing that you guys can notice about the Adobe Sir is the pencil tool, okay? The pencil tool you guys can draw, look like this. And you can also change the color in this button, okay? Like this one. But if you try to change using the Apple Pencil, you will get bothered, you know, because your hand is in the front, okay? So another way to do this, you can click in this button, okay, in the properties, and change on here, all right? And change the color on here. And you guys can see that some sliders just by clicking this button and switch here the colors, as you guys can see. At least on the iPad, we have a real-time uh, transition between the colors, this is good. Right now, let's suppose that you want to use a shape builder. You guys can draw another shape like you would use now. Oh, look, I will draw the shape. I will change this color right now. Look. And if I select this shape here, okay, this both shape, you need to select this button in order to select this. You guys will see the option about the shape builder, okay? So you have a preview on here that I really like it. Okay, so if I click here, me, minus front, it's going to uh, subtract. Okay, look, it's going to subtract. And if I undo here and apply the shape builder, as you guys will see, I can apply the shape builder. There is a small delay on here. And look, I will try to apply the shape builder like this. So about the layers, I think that is a bit difficult to manage as I have a muscle memory on a fin designer. I try here to select them. But you need to select this, okay, this button, all the time in order to select this at the same time. And let's suppose that you want to apply a gradient. You guys can click here in the color, all right, and you have here this option, gradient, and click here in the linear, and there we go, we have this slider on here. If you try to drag, like we do on a designer, you cannot do this on here. You need to select precisely the node in order to do this like I'm doing right now and you guys can tap here in order to create other colors in between and you guys can have here you know the the radio we have also the option like a mesh so you can create some points on here I really like this tool to be honest and you can do a more uh, custom feel tool you guys also have the option to import images take photos and there we go you can apply here the photos or oh, select the photos and I apply my plan that I did during the Vectober photos and there we go I really like the way that you can import the photos on here seems to work smoothly so guys here we have some options below okay so you can drag on here in order to change the opacity the first one is opacity the second one works only for shapes okay for the curves so if you draw here this line as you guys can see okay i'll make this as dark and right now when you select this curve you can change this stroke on here and let's suppose that you want to make this rounded on the properties panel you can change this to rounded as you guys can see 
all right you have some few options to change on here like blend mode so the properties is a very important panel in order to change some attributes on here right now if you want to for example change this layer this layer uh, arrangement you can select the object that you want to apply on here you can just uh, drag in order to arrange this faster you can also lock it if you don't want to ch move this all right also you can let me try to select this again and also you can group by selecting remember in order to select multiple objects you need to select this like I'm doing uh, hold here and select so you guys can group in this button right now look there's a button here and as you guys can see the result grouped and ungroup and right now if you want to use this option okay you guys can duplicate this okay we have an option here okay uh, that you can duplicate click here and you can duplicate also you can delete by clicking here in the garbage as you guys can see there you go so guys right now i'm gonna open a project that i did using a finish design this one let me show you this is the project that i did using a finish design and i've just exported this as svg in order to open on a demonstrator okay and here we go i have this project and let's say that i will try here to draw his face so the first thing that i will do i would select some shape as you guys can see we have some few options to to, to the shapes and right now i'm gonna select here the lips and i will draw here and i can change here the stroke if you want and in this button you guys can switch between the colors okay I will remove here this stroke I don't want to use this stroke and you guys can use the color picker in order to use the same color from here let me try to use this one I'm trying to select this right now and click here there we go I'm having a bug I guess because I'm trying to select this color and I'm not getting this color properly I want to use this color. Okay, it's working now. Look, you guys, uh, you can duplicate this right now. Look if you want on here. Or you guys can use the mirror, all right? You guys can use the mirror. How? For example, here we have this button, okay? And you have the mirror. Just click here, mirror. And right now, you have the options to make the distance between the objects. And as the mirror will have it just in one another side, I will bring this to here okay I just want to change this one right now like this if you change one side it's going to change another side as well okay like this one and right now I'll draw I'll do here the eyebrows look and of course I want to have this a curve okay I don't want I don't want to have the feel I will try here to switch like this okay and guys look at this I have some nodes that is really bothering me but you guys can uh, make this better by doing that look we have this option that is is moving make this higher and I'm gonna delete this shape I don't want to have this one and I will do this again look I will do this again and you guys can uh, change here the size okay of the stroke width by and if you guys try to apply here this inside of the mirror let's try to do that I think we will need to click here again mirror and bring this one by one I guess and let's suppose that you want to make this rounded click here on the properties click this button over the caps and you guys can change here like I'm doing right now to show you how you guys can do a nose I would do here with the, the pencil as you guys can see just like this okay and I'll do here the mouth shape just like that you guys can click in this button in order to move this all right like this and let's suppose that you want to make a shadow here below you guys can use the paint tool and draw let me uh, select this paint tool and draw the shape okay right now I want to make the feel dark how you have the stroke that I don't want to use this one click here to make this uh, turn it off and I want to make a kind of shadow here of course you guys have some options to control the the nodes you guys can see on here okay the path that you can make this like uh, converge to curve all right as you guys can see 
you can uh, control here below a kind of shortcut that you can convert to a sharp you can make this rounded I really like this shortcut this is a time saver one thing that I really like about the illustrator we have here the rease so basically if we select this shape as you guys can see I can apply here the rease and rease the the shape look we get this kind of result as you guys can see so for now we don't have a lot of options if I want to apply the the layer effects I cannot see the layer effect on here but I think it's very new you know for this uh, app to have this right now but I truly hope that Adobe will improve this because we are you know uh, paying this monthly and I really hope that they will bring a better optimization here because if you try to draw using the pencil tool and using smooth you guys will notice a huge lag as you guys can see okay should be some kind of performance that we have on here but in case you apply this uh, curve without the smoothing it works pretty well to be honest look uh, very in real time if we open here you know the clipping I found this a bit difficult to use the clipping uh, compared to the fin designer because for example if I draw here a shape let me show you right now if I try to draw a shape and I want to apply this inside okay let's suppose that I want to apply this inside uh, you need to clip this okay uh, make sure that your layers are selected okay oh, this is the path I already found it difficult to select the you know the objects yeah I feel the same experience that I got using uh, WCR on, on desktop as well I'm moving this on and there you go oh, here we have two paths I want to select this but I need to toggle on here and select okay now it's selected but if you click here in this button you guys will see uh, these options okay the object options you can ungroup this you can apply uh, if you keep this grouped you cannot apply the clipping uh, selected okay uh, let me ungroup this oh my gosh I will try to ungroup this and right now I will try to clip this or make clipping mask what's gonna happen the clipping will uh, be applied in this shape here that is above I don't want that I want to clip uh, this one here uh, inside of that one below because for example if I try to do this using a fin designer and let me show you a very small comparison uh, to the fin designer in case you don't know about a fin designer we have a so far easy way to do that on a fin designer even the selection here We don't we do not need to to use the shape builder in order to slice the shape that is uh, outside okay and for me to be honest I have you know uh, so far a good experience about this and on there using the register you don't have the options to use you cannot use the uh, for example the layer styles or even some adjustment that is very useful so using here Adobe Illustrator I found very difficult to apply some basic functionalities so basically you guys can use here the shape builder if I select this both path right now oh, click here this button okay why is not working oh, now it's working shape builder and you guys can do this okay and again if you move this just for you know on here it's gonna uh, be out if you click here this button you guys will see uh, just few options AI PDF SVG PNG in PSD you don't have JPEG you don't have e e uh, EPS on a fin design my friend you have more options okay uh, we have the vector persona the raster persona and also the export persona and on here you guys can see so many uh, formats that you can export using a fin design so why I'm telling you this is because the price that you pay on Adobe Illustrator doesn't work. It doesn't work because on a design it's just one time, one time purchase. So uh, this was my quick review about Adobe Illustrator. Okay, we have you know these preview lines on here, and look if you compare again with a designer, the tools that we have on here is so far you know uh, better. 
So guys, there one thing that I'm really missing here on a double straighter. If I try to make a curve, you know, like a width pressure that I'm gonna show you on a fin designer. Look, you guys, I cannot see these options to make this thinner to thick. I cannot see that. Come on, Adobe. I cannot do that, really. Look, I will try to apply here on on a fin designer, and here we have these options to change the width and also, you know, the pressure. I cannot see this on Adobe Sir. Okay, I cannot see this option on Adobe Sir. I'm trying here. I, I was trying here to figure out how to apply that, but I cannot see this option. If I select here, oh, I have this option here, but I didn't like this to be honest. I didn't like it. If I do this, this converts directly to you know uh, a curve. I don't I don't want uh, you know this shape. I want to control this like I do on vector brush. <laughs> So guys, uh, that's all for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick review, okay? And let me open here my screen. And if you guys want to learn more about the Affinity Design, you guys can uh, see more, more about my tutorials on here, okay? I do tutorials for desktop, iPad. We have thousands and thousands already of lessons done on the Vectorize Club that you guys can join here below in the description. And guys, if you want to see a comparison between Adobe Illustrator and Affinity Designer, I will be very happy to bring here the iPad version. I have on here the comparison between the Adobe Illustrator on desktop. And you guys can watch after this video, okay? Thank you guys so much and I hope to see you in the next video. See ya, bye bye.